So today we're going to be taking a look at the new F-Stop bag. This is the F-Stop Tilopa Dura Diamond. I've got it in this beautiful red. Also comes in green and black. We're going to be taking a look at the new camera bag and I'll let you know what I think of it. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you how you could potentially win this camera bag because we're giving this guy away. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how this camera bag could be yours. So for the past like five years, six, five years, six years, I've been using the Shimoda camera bags. But before that, I was using F-stop bags. In the past, I've had a Talopa, and an Ajna bag, a couple Ajna bags. You know, I liked them, but there were some things that I didn't like, and I was really curious to see if those things had been addressed in these newer versions of the F-Stop bag. So jumping into it, the biggest change, the biggest kind of marketing behind this camera bag is the Dura Diamond thing. Well, what is that? Essentially, what the Dura Diamond name suggests is that this fabric now has this kind of diamond pattern. That diamond pattern is giving it more durability. This fabric is very, very durable. It's also very water resistant. I haven't had a chance to take it out into, you know, a rainforest or anything. In fact, I took it to the desert, so kind of the opposite of a rainforest. Um, but I'm told that it's very water resistant, water repellent. Um, and I can believe it. It feels, it feels water repellent. Also, another thing that they've greatly updated are a lot of like the connection points. So a lot of these buckles on the straps, these carabiner clips on the waist belt, they're all metal. They're all aluminum now. I think that's aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. They're all metal now. And that's doing a couple things. It's made, making things way, way more durable, way, way more resistant to breaking. It's also making the bag a little bit heavier, unfortunately. Like a lot of these updates are making a very durable bag, but the, the cost of that, well, first of all, there's the monetary cost. It's not a cheap camera bag, comes in at this much. And it's also pretty heavy. So starting off completely empty, it's coming in at and if you compare that to like the Action X50 from Shimoda, which actually holds quite a bit more because of its expandable um, nature, it comes in at this much. So it's starting off a little bit heavier and you can kind of feel it. When I first put this camera bag on, I could, I could feel the difference. So like my normal kit felt heavier than it did in my previous bag. So looking around at some of the features on the side of the bag, this is the way that the tripod mounts. There's a little pocket down here. Can you see that? There's a little pocket here that you can shove the legs of your tripod in and then you strap it down up top and you also have another strap here that you can tuck the other leg of your tripod into. These straps are really, really well made, kind of like everything, where the buckles Buckles actually have a locking mechanism here, so we can really lock it in. That way it's not going to come loose on you. Also, I like that all of these straps can be pretty easily taken off just by unclipping them. So if we decide we didn't like the, the straps on the back of the bag or we weren't going to use them, we could just take them off. That way they don't catch on anything. So when it comes to storage and pockets on the camera bag, on the sides we have this bottom one that's typically used for a tripod leg. We also have this vertical one, which is pretty useful for putting a water bottle in. That's what I put in here. But there's also a little mesh pocket on the inside where you could put other stuff as well. So the straps have these little mesh pockets on the front. And I found that it's perfect for putting my GPS core, uh, communicator in there. It's just a nice, perfect fit. They're too small for any kind of water bottle or anything like that, but I'm sure, I'm sure you could find other things that would fit in there, maybe lunch or a little bit of trash or litter. On top, we have the main pocket. On the inside of the main pocket, we have a mesh pocket, which is useful for being able to see what's in that. And then we have a couple of padded, uh, then we have a couple of padded zipper pockets. It's where I tend to keep my microphones and extra batteries. They kind of have a really nice felt liner in there. And below that main pocket, we have the access, the top access to the, the inside of the bag. Now this is how you could pull the internal camera unit out. 
There's also a big pocket here. This Because this one's a little bit more protected, that's where I would put like a passport or something like that. First aid kit. This is also a good storage area for putting coats and larger things like that. On the back of the camera bag, we have a big long pocket that goes the full length of the bag. This is also where you would put a hydration bladder. There's a, a pocket in there for the hydration bladder. And if you look on the side here, there's a little port where you can route the hydration bladder tube out the port, down a strap, and kind of route your, you know, route the tubing that way. What I like about this is that the hydration bladder pocket is on the outside of the bag. If I remember correctly, that was not the case. Could be wrong, but pretty sure that was not the case with some of the older bags. So getting into the inside of the camera bag, has this vertical flap. What I like about that is that if you are wearing the belt, you can just flip it down in front of you and access the inside of your camera bag while you're still wearing it, if you have the belt on. Um, you can see that they use internal camera units. So you can swap out these ICUs for different sizes. That way you have a kit that kind of fits the type of gear that you're gonna put in there. And one of the nice things about F-Stop is that they have a whole range of ICU sizes. So if you are somebody that uses like large telephoto lenses, you could get one that's even longer than this and fit like a 500 F4 in there if you wanted. Or you could get a smaller one, that way you have more room for coats and things like that. Um, the ICUs are not cheap, kind of like a lot of the F-Stop stuff. They're a little bit more expensive but they are really well made. The padding and the dividers are very thick and they protect your gear a lot. Although I think that because they're a little bit thicker, they do take up a little, a little more size than they potentially could. But it's very configurable and you can get it set up kind of however you need it to be set up. Easily fits all of my gear. One of the areas that I feel like they've improved the bag the most is the way that they utilize this space here on the inside of the flap. You now have a nice laptop sleeve. Um, I believe my 15 inch Dell will fit in here. Got a couple pockets for like memory cards. You've got a zipper pocket. And then down here, you've actually got a magnetically closing pocket, which is pretty cool. Um, but it, it's just so nice to see this space utilized a lot better than it was on previous bags. You'll notice that the back panel here has like a lot of embossing and that's to help like air access your back so your back doesn't get quite so sweaty. The straps are made with this pretty thick, pretty firm foam. And I think that that firm foam is, it's gonna be durable, it's gonna last, but I will say that it's not super comfortable. And so now we're coming to my, my couple main critiques of the bag. The first and most serious critique is that I didn't find this bag very comfortable. I'm used to Shimoda bags, and as soon as I put this camera bag on, it just didn't fit my back well. Like there was just something about it that I couldn't, I didn't feel comfortable. And I putting my same kit that I've always carry into this camera bag, it just all felt heavier. And I, I found myself not ever wanting to put my tripod down there because it, it just made the overall comfort just go down the tubes. I, I really didn't, care for the comfort part of it. I will say that I kind of got used to it over the last, over the couple weeks that I was using it, using it every day, hiking with it every day. I got used to it, but as soon as I got home and put on my normal camera bag, I was like, oh, that's, that's how a camera bag's supposed to feel. So comfort wasn't there for me. And granted, I'm not built like the normal photographer. I'm not the, an average build. I'm, I'm a larger than average build. And, Comfort is so unquantifiable. It's very hard to quantify. So just because it's uncomfortable on me doesn't mean it's gonna be uncomfortable on you. The other, th the other big critique that I had was that these waist straps don't come off. And I really wish they did because, you know, as a bigger guy, I don't really care for wearing the waist straps. And granted, the waist straps are pretty important for making this camera bag more comfortable because by putting weight on your hips, you're gonna be taking weight off your shoulders. The problem is, as a larger guy, it's very, you get very self-conscious. And so one of the first things I do to most of my camera bags is 
take out the waist belt when you can. On this bag, you can't. And they are very substantial waist belts, so you're, they're just going to be flopping around if you're not wearing them. And my other critique would probably be that it's, a, it's not a cheap bag. It's coming in at, which is not a cheap bag, and it's not going to be in the realm of, you know, most people's budgets. But if you're going to spend that much on a camera bag, you want it to be comfortable. And I just didn't feel that it was super comfortable. Having said all of that, you know, I recommend you guys to try it on for yourself because this is probably the most durable, well-made bag I've ever seen. Quality of the build is incredible. The quality of all the zippers is very top-notch. The extra attention to detail for like metal, metal attachment points, everything is, is just awesome with this bag. I also feel like F-Stop bags are probably the coolest looking bags out there. There's just something about the way they look that is really, really cool. I just wish that I found it to be more comfortable. If it was more comfortable and I could take this waist belt off, I'd probably be switching to this bag, but comfort is king when you're packing a bunch of gear. So if you are interested in owning this camera bag, you have to do a couple things. You have to like, subscribe, ring the bell, of course. Hopefully you already have. And you need to leave a comment down below letting me know where you're from and what camera bag you currently use. And then we'll choose a winner randomly from the list below in the comments. And hopefully you're gonna win this bag. So again, this bag comes in both green and black and they are really awesome looking bags. Super durable. They definitely have the Nick Page seal of approval when it comes to quality of build. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, everybody.